So in the previous video, we were discussing about food maps. Those are the insoluble type of sugars, uh, which when eaten by gut bacteria, releases a lot of hydrogen gas and also brings in a lot of liquid and water into our intestine. Okay. So before starting the video, let me again remind you guys, a person suffering from rectal ulcer may or may not choose these high or low food map foods but for a person that is suffering from ulcerative colitis will have to strictly follow these guidelines okay so the rectal ulcer patient may have less restrictions but person suffering from any sorts of ibs will have to thoroughly follow these type of restrictions so first we are going to talk about grains okay so all types of gluten-free grains okay uh, millets, corn, oat, rice, quinoa, sorghum, tapioca, these are preferable. Whereas the grains containing gluten protein, because gluten is a very uh, inflammatory protein, it is it makes your intestine some sort of semi-permeable. It crosses the intestinal blood barrier very easily, causing a lot of swelling and inflammation in the GI tract. So we have to go for a gluten-free diet. When it comes to legumes, we are going to choose only lentils, okay? So, de-husked, without skin lentils, but we are going to avoid all sorts of whole pulses. The whole pulses along with the outer skin covering uh, has a lot of insoluble fiber which can cause problems, okay? So, we will only prefer lentils. When it comes to vegetables, this is the list of vegetables that are allowed in the food map. We will follow the low food map vegetables and we will try to avoid all the high food map vegetables. Uh, I want to also make sure that one thing is clear. If any vegetable is not written in either the high or low category, in the uh, low food map or high food map category, consider that vegetable to not to be consumed okay don't be confused uh, these are the options that we have we have bell peppers carrots celery cucumber beans lettuce olive uh, potatoes radish okay these are all the options that we can have okay uh, some of the options that are actually low food map but still have to be avoided those are eggplant spinach and green mustard and kale so I have written these over here also, despite being low in the food maps, these vegetables have to be avoided because they can cause uh, unwanted results and they can put a lot of pressure because they have a very dense fiber bound structure. They can cause problems in your GI tract. So for the beginning stages, we should be avoiding these plants also along with mushrooms and okra and uh, cauliflower, brussels sprouts, cabbage, beetroot, all these sort of uh, vegetables, these are a no-go. Avocados are an excellent source of uh, healthy fats and proteins, so they can be added into your diet. These are very calorie dense foods, easy to digest, okay, but I wouldn't recommend anyone in India buying a 600 rupees uh, per kg of uh, avocado, okay. Uh, we can also survive without avocados. In the countries where avocados are much more affordable, uh, you guys can go for it. When it comes to fruits, uh, it is a little tricky. But uh, again, if there is a fruit which is not written in either the low or high food map category, consider it to be uh, not to be consumed. Okay, It should be avoided at all costs. So when it comes to fruits, we can have unripe or freshly ripe bananas, blueberries, cantaloupes, grapefruits. Uh, kiwi, lemon, mandarins, melons, except watermelon, and uh, oranges, raspberries, and strawberries. Whereas apples, apricots, cherry, canned fruit, dates, figs, and watermelon, these all are to be avoided. Uh, we discussed that uh, dairy products have sugars, which are uh, called lactose, and lactose can cause some problem. In some people so that it is preferable that we go for plant-based milk options like soy or almond oil okay and uh, colostrum colostrum is the very first milk of a cow or a buffalo after they have given a birth to their calf so this colostrum can also be uh, obtained in form of powder okay 
from a supplement store powdered colostrum is very good in healing your intestine in uh, some cases of athletic people suffering from diverticulitis that is cracks in the large intestine or the small intestine colostrum has proven to be uh, a booster in their recovery so it is also helpful in inflammation also we will go for uh, <clears throat> lactose free milk or plant based milk and we are going to avoid uh, other high carbohydrate sources of dairy and processed cheeses are also to be avoided when it comes to non vegetarian food non vegetarian food uh, mostly is very tolerable and uh, it is always low food map until unless it is processed and it has added high food map uh, additives like uh, fructose corn syrup high fructose corn syrup or wheat or some other types of processings also in the low food map categories we can have almost all types of raw cold pressed extra virgin oils most of the herbs and spices but not the uh, chilies and red red and green chilies and black pepper those are to be avoided if you are suffering from ibs uh, nuts and seeds can be taken into some amount but uh, not in the early stages i would recommend that first of all following rest of the diet and at the end you can add some amount of nuts and seed also uh, in this case chia seed is the seed to start with probiotics are very important these are going to establish a healthy microbial flora in your stomach and as well as in your gut if you are suffering from chronic diarrhea most of your healthy bacteria has been washed out due to diarrhea or when you are having some sort of antibiotics so having probiotic food is a very good way having desi ghee olive oil chia seed uh, sauerkraut these type of fermented foods are also good healthy fats is also good for you we are going to avoid artificial and natural sweeteners fructose and honey and corn syrup xylitol mannitol maltitol all these type of sugar frees and unsweetened uh, unsweetened sugars zero calorie sugars we are going to avoid all that we are going to avoid all types of processed ham or sausages or non vegetarian food as well